Angelo here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my stream. So guys, finally, we get the new update. Well, kind of. This is happening uh, next week, which is going to be on 315. So March 15, 2023. It's the spring update, which is the art of war. Uh, I don't really care about the artist. I don't really care about the special. I think it's called the specialist. Yeah, the specialist advanced class. Um, so normally I break these down when there's more things to it, but this is all we get for this little thing the cool thing i see here is that there's going to be a 40 a 96 player battle royale the question is are enough people 1490 in the game maybe uh, or just they have a lot of alts so this would be a 48 um or yeah 48 versus 48 player thing and is a captured flag i have no idea well actually yeah defeat and enter the base capture it okay yeah so i guess um yeah it, all right there's going to be a capture the flag thing if you've already done some of the sieges and invaded either side you'll see that there's i think basquia and i think the other one is like arno i think those are the two guys and then i think that's what you have to do that's what the whole uh, siege is and the whole point is you going all the way in and then killing whoever faction side you need uh, aside from that um looks like there is the petrania night the darkest night i i think this is the power or no I think they said there's going to be an event, event pass, or what, what's it called? An event. Power pass? Something like that. Not, no, not a power pass, but yeah. An event, and then I think also what's happening, hard mode and Hanumatama, I think the thing's name is it. They say that's like the best guardian. It's fairly easy, and I believe they say that's basically your full DPS check. Like, that's going to become everyone's, uh, uh, what's it called? Everyone's new, um, the bird, Descaluda. That's going to be the new higher tier version of Descaluda right there. So, but we actually did get this. So we got an advanced class. Uh, you know, if you guys like this, this is, yeah, March 15th, Art of War update. Uh, yeah, I don't really care about her. Let's see here, artist class. So all this is about the artist. If you guys like the artist, you want to make artist. It's supposed to be supposedly a um, support I don't think it is, uh, and if I'm not mistaken, I remember Zeal saying something along the lines of, like, the artist was a class everybody played. They're saying, oh, my God, I love it. This one's great. It's amazing. It's awesome. And then it's the most abandoned class. That's that's what I've been supposedly told, or that's what at least I heard from. That, that's the Korean side. Uh, maybe it'll be a hot a hot thing. Maybe everyone will want to play as it, but, I mean, that, you know, I, I feel like if you're into lollies, that's your thing, but for me, uh, not really. I care less all right but anyway this is what i really want to get to progression events so following the punica power pass hyper express pass and the story express pass which is different um progression events will all run from march 15th to june 14th so this is, this is a little bit of time it's quite a bit of time uh unlike prior progression events this updates uh character designation and mission periods are the same time or the, at the same time the standard Punica Power Pass. Now, the question is on this, if you already did this and you already have, are they giving us another one? If they're giving us another one, cool. Um, let's see, it'll function just like the North Fern Power Pass launch. Oh, wait. Available to players in the launch version. Once you complete the storyline of the con, you can bring an alternate character at that point in the game. So are they also giving? No, no. They're, they're just giving us the Punica. They're giving us one. I thought they're giving us another one, but maybe they're going to give us... I don't know what the, exactly they're saying here. <clears throat> and then with the version of the Punica Power Pass, you'll receive item level 1340 year. Is that what you normally got? Hmm. I think so. Or I, th I thought when you did Punica, you got 1302. So I, they may, maybe they raised it up a little bit. Yeah, because the 1302 is the epic gear. So I think 1340 is the legendary gear. I don't know. And then, uh, see here. Hyper Express Plus. Uh, pairing well with the Punica Power Pass, players will be able to designate one character between 1340 and 1445 on the roster to participate in the Hyper Express. Well, they'll earn honing materials, et cetera, et cetera. So that, at this point, majority of people, unless you're brand new and you want to make this, uh, this is basically a, a artist, like, super power pass buff. But, yeah, most people are going to be using it to get their 1375 or 1400, 1415 characters, 1445. <laughs> get quick meanings designated so yeah a wealth of silver honing materials gems engravings and a legendary card selection pack nice i got four of those now and then see here engraving supports us oh this is the thing where 
they always said that people are getting gate kept, et cetera, et cetera, when they make a new character like artist or whatever, because they don't have any engravings. So what this new engraving support system, so how long does it last? It gives you four level uh, three engravings during the event. So up until June 15, you will get a free four by three with this Hyper Express event. So yeah, there you go. And yeah, select the Hyper Express character engraving. Support button will light up, then click the support, uh, and then select your four desired engravings. And then press activate, and bam, you get 4x3 right off the bat. And now this is the thing I don't know what it is. Story Express, clear story missions to level up a character from 1 to 1340. And earn rewards like 1340 Argos. That'll help you progress even further. Progression of 1340 story event also opens up. Take advantage of the Hyper Express. Mm. Any character that is yet to complete the on the border quest from Rathramus can become a designated uh, story express. So basically, is this for brand new people mainly? Brand new players. So you can now finish this. Um, yeah. Okay, so oh, so you gotta finish it. Well, what if I already finished every story? Do I can I still get this or do I have to make another character? Come on, man. I already got 12. It's hard for hard enough for me to do all this stuff. But yeah, I guess. If you finish that, you're going to get a 14-day crystalline aura, epic class engraving selection pouch. Just one. Oh, that's kind of cheap. One combat. Oh, yeah, kind of cheap as well. And it's no holy material. Skip quest via a power pass or knowledge transfer will not offer story express completion awards. Oh, yeah. So you have to actually do it. I don't, I don't know what that is, but all right. You can only have one designated story express character per account. If you delete your story express character, you will not be able to designate another one. It's a one-time use. Okay. And then uh, new and returning login bonuses. Uh, this uh, login reward track will support new and returning players with 15 days uh, to reward help kickstart their journey. So just a one time. All right. It includes new and improved bonuses, including uh, engraving recipe selection, uncommon to legendary. Also, what, just random. It's probably random. Maybe. I don't know. And a variety of honing materials. Fa oh, faience. There you go. There you go. Faience and legendary to epic card pack. Looking ahead, uh, the artists and progression events aren't all we have planned for the March update. The 48 by 48 PvP Tulubic Battlefield along with other quality of life. All right, now that's what I'm wondering. Is that, oh, there it is right there. I'll just say, are the balance changes coming with the quality of life? Yes, they are. Uh, new events, well, we'll see. And cosmetics and a third arc pass. That's what it's called, arc pass. Uh, stay tuned uh, for that. And yeah, we'll see you in Arkesia. And there you go, guys. That is it. That was the main thing I wanted to cover was the Story Express Pass. All those things. But either which way, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you making it a, a, a the? I mean, I, I don't want to knock you if you are, but if you are thinking about making this class, it was one of the most dropped classes in Korea. Maybe the Aeromancer might be more for you, but if you think of this as a support, it's not. I mean, it might, it's, it's, it's better. It's, it's like as much of a support as like a blue gun Lancer, I, I would say. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys out there. And then uh, whenever this actually drops next week, we'll see what other things we get. I just want to see the quality of life stuff. I'm always interested in what this new login bonus will be, but we don't get that until next week. All right, guys. Lady up.